Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 457 of Prog Review. And today, uh, it's too old to rock and roll, too young to die by Jethro Tull. This is the fourth time, fourth time I've tried to record this, and that's the fourth time I've hit my head with this, because the camera's been acting very strange lately. It allows me to record Game of Thrones commentaries, but whenever I do a Prog Review, the card corrupts, and I, mean, I don't know. So I've got a new memory card. This is a new memory card. Um, this is a SanDisk memory card, and not a Samsung one, which I was using. So hopefully we'll get through this. This is the third third time. I mean, I did. I've done it three times fully, and from one time where it kind of went halfway through. So if I come across as I don't know a little bit bored or jaded with this, it's because not it's not the album. It's the fact that I've said this review many, many times. This is Jethro Tull's ninth studio album, released 23rd of April 1976 originally, and this was released late last year. This is the reissue. This is the TV special edition, uh, which, again, it's that series of reissues that have come out, and it's got one, uh, two DVDs and two, two audio CDs. Uh, peel back. You can see me unboxing it. Of course you can. Um, yeah. Um, what an interesting, yeah, interesting. Again, well, well, the album's not that interesting, but reading the making of and the historical context. Again, you've got to imagine, uh, Jethro Tull been doing this for like, I don't know, I've been doing this for a while, and, you know, you got the, things were changing. The mu music was changing, and, you know, you got the punk was coming, and I'd imagine that, you know, you know Ian Anderson was looking around thinking, you know, there's a, there's a lot of people here who have been hanging on to... To, to rock and roll for a while and you know I like that concept I like the idea of, of something going full circle the idea of the things going in and out of fashion it's a bit like, a bit like prog rock itself you know in, in the in the the 80s and 90s you 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 could even mention prog was a four letter word I think it still is but you know people a bit more forgiving of it now there's they, I, I hear they they even make magazines dedicated to it can you believe who who pay who paid to read about it? I wouldn't. But um uh yeah, so the idea of something going full circle, and that's what you get with this story, because it's a concept album. Uh, the character's called Ray Lomas, he was based on a real person by all accounts according to the, the thing, and he's a he's an old rocker who who um well basically everyone takes the Mickey out of him and then he has a, a motorcycle accident, goes into a coma, and when he comes around, he's in fashion. That is it. That is the concept. It's a very slight, you know. It makes the lamb look like Game of Thrones. Sorry to get the Game of Thrones references in. I'm a bit obsessed with it. But this is a very slight idea for a concept album. Um, yeah, also... Um, well, album, come on, Darren. Get, 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 get. Where are we going with this? Where are we going? Um... Of all the reissues, this one's a bit skewed because you haven't got the original album remixed. I don't know if they've lost the, the, the tapes or whatnot, but what you've got is you've got the um, the remixes of the TV special and five, he said five, holding up four fingers. <laughs> five, is that right? Thank you. Five tracks from the original album that have been remixed. So obviously, master tapes are out there. Or master tapes are missing. And there are some extra uh, bonus tracks on the other disc. And you get the original album as a flat transfer as well. So it doesn't follow the same pattern as the other uh, reissues. So I don't know. I don't know how diehards would feel about that. I'd feel a little bit uh, short changed. I like when things are complete. I don't like these mishmashes, you know, mix and match of 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 material. Uh, but saying that, I have thought it was fascinating the the TV special. The TV special was uh, put together and produced by Mike Mansfield. Cue the music. Only a few people get that reference. I remember Mike Mansfield from Razzmatazz. Showing me age. Strokes beard. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Mike Mansfield asked, uh, approached um, Ian Anderson to do this TV special, and again, this is when TV was interesting. I'm not saying TV isn't interesting now, but you don't have the breadth 
of, of material that you used to. In the old days, things would get commissioned. Um, you know, that we, we wouldn't get commissioned now. Niche, niche items, and people have to sit down and watch it. You know, you were exposed to a lot more art, sport, drama. You know, different different things than you would now. I'm just going off now on a tangent about television. That is not what we're here for. But it's fascinating to see this TV recording. I think I think it's probably available on the YouTube. But it's nice to have it here because it gets all into the surround sound and reissued, and that. And it's the band um, lip syncing to the to the re the re recording in a studio and it's kind of theatrical you don't i don't know if you get a real sense of the story or not but it's interesting it's fascinating to watch the band do their thing really because again if you're not um familiar with i mean i can imagine a lot of people not being that familiar with uh, jethro tull at the time you're getting a bit of a bit of a niche band aren't they they're not um mark bolan or or you know a band you know someone like you know big in, in terms of pop success you know what I mean. You know what you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Don't 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 misinterpret what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, it was really interesting to see that, and um, yeah, quite quite funny to watch them ham it up. But again, it's a very much a, a a piece for its time. But but again, fascinating piece of TV history to watch nonetheless. Um, what else can I say about it? Yeah, as an album, I like it. It was right. You know, you know, I liked. Um, uh, War Child, you know I like that one. So some people said, "Well, you're going to like this one as well." And they were right. I, th I thought it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was a little bit. Um, it wasn't as deep as some of the Anderson's other efforts and Jeff O'Toole's other effort efforts. But you know, I th yeah, I thought it was all right. It was a good. It was a good rock album. It's not particularly prog. Um, it's just it's it's got a concept album. Uh, again, the 80-page booklet is fascinating because you get all about the making of. And again, Ian Anderson had this idea for it to turn it into a stage play and they was going to get um, uh, Ian Faith from 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 Ian Faith. You remember he, he's, he was, um, probably, probably known, he was acting in Budgie back in the 70s and he thought he'd make a good, a good Ray Lomas in his stage play, and the idea was going to come on at the beginning in the theatre, down the down a, a gangway, down the middle of the audience on a motorbike, and go onto the stage. But unfortunately, um, Ian Faith was. Am I saying Ian Faith? I mean Adam Faith. <sighs> Ian Faith is the manager of Spinal Tap. There's no sex and drugs and rock and roll for me. Anyway, I'm I just balls that up completely, and you're going to think, what an absolute fucking asshole amateur! It's because I've done this three fucking times already. You know that. That's why I've got it's all it's all mixed up. I did it right. I did one. I did a perfect fucking take. It was perfect, and now now I can't even bloody string a cogent fucking sentence together. But um, yes, there are all these ideas for it. It's going to be a, a musical and a stage play, and it never came to pass. But that's what's really interesting about all these things. You know, so so many ideas, and none of them came to fruition. You know, I think he's getting very much an ideas man. But I can see why uh, some diehards don't like this record because it's a little bit, you know, it is a little bit simplistic in its uh, execution. There are some good tunes on it, you know, but you know, yeah, I like it when. No, I like it. I like, yeah, I like that kind of thing. Um, but I, I will never understand how you get from this to songs in the wood, songs from the wood. I'm not doing a terrible job of this. Um, yeah, some say there's a muddled story. Um, I mean, I, I, what I love also is you got Dave Gibbons did the did the uh, did the cartoon strip. There was a cartoon strip in the original in a gatefold. Dave Gibbons went on. To fame 2000 AD, that's where I know it from. But again, it's great because you get the that's what I love about these. You know, even if you're not a fan, there's just so much content to digest, you know, so much history. I mean, I love the making of things. I like, even if it's a band I don't like, I love to know how they come up with the idea and how they put things together. So, so f these are great for me. I just, I do really enjoy, um, I do enjoy spending time with them. Um, 
What else are we going to say? What else are we going to say? Yeah, so how to get to to turn from this to folk folk Jethro Tull? I, I don't know how to do that. It's amazing stuff. But um, but yeah, yeah, pretty pretty good stuff, really. I enjoyed it. Um, so as an album, it probably gets a three uh, salamanders out of five. But as a as a set. I mean, I got this for 15 quid. That's why I'm covering I wasn't going to cover it because it was expensive, but Amazon, in infinite wisdom, dropped the price, and I jumped on it. And if you'd have followed me on Twitter, you'd have got that deal. But, you know, I, I put these links out there, and everyone goes, uh, uh, and then they moan that the price goes up. You've got to jump on them. You've got to jump on the prices. I like a bargain. I like a bargain. Um, so, yeah, um... I'm going to give it again. All of these, they're really all of the the reissues have been really strong. You know, I just love these packages. I mean, if every band did put the put, you know, these are up there with the the Genesis reissues with the the DVD interviews. These are up there with them. You know, so it gets a five big dippers out of five. In this release of a fifteen quid, fuck yeah, it gets five out of five. Oh yeah, lots to lots to enjoy. Um, so yeah, I, have I made any sense? I feel like I'm rambling. I feel like I'm just maybe I'm out of practice. Maybe it's all the Games of Thrones I've been doing. I don't know, but um, but yeah, it was good. It was good. I I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, but again, I can understand why some diehards don't enjoy it. I'm not a big you know some of that some of that intricate stuff that they do. Yeah. Yeah, but I said I enjoyed War Child, and I know a lot of people don't enjoy that one. But that's 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 the whole point. Uh, uh, so anyway, my name is Darren Rock. I've been out talking about Too Old to Rock and Roll, Too Young to Die, the TV special edition by Jethro Tull. These these reissues, by the way, they they're a bit, a bit they're selling out. They're, you're hard to find now, aren't they? Some of these, like the Thick as a Brick one, and. And uh, even Mr. in the Gallery, you can, it's very hard to get hold of now. So these are these are becoming like little, little mini collectors' items. Not I'm saying you should go out and buy it, but um, yeah, I, was, I thought I found that curious. I found that curious that they become they're becoming quickly becoming collectors' items. But but yeah, I thought they're great. I really did enjoy it. Um, that's it, really. I mean, they're not. My, I don't. I'm not a big fan of Jethro Tull, but I do like these reissues. All right, good. I think I've done everything. Right, that's it. There's only one more thing to say, and that's prog on.